Hello, Internet! I'm Hamster Bomb, and you are back for some more Pokemon Coliseum Randomizer! And now we can safely travel into this train now that we've saved the fact that we've caught these awesome new Shadow Pokemon. These two guys I have now up front because a Shadow Flygon sounds amazing if we can pull that off. And our Shadow Mewtwo in a regular Pokeball last night was insane. Unbelievable episode. Macargo, I still kept just because of all the work we put into him, and Heracross clearly didn't want to listen to me. And I figure I'm not gonna load up on shadows right now if I don't need to, so whatever. Um, can I move this? Key is missing, can't be operated. I clearly don't have that. Okay. But Cage it, this appears to have been used for transporting shadow Pokemon. Wow. Okay. Um Key is missing, it can't be operated. Oh, am I supposed to have this? I don't. A train key of some sort? Shoot. Because this is just going to take us back outside. Whoa! Ah! Oh! You are so easy to dupe. See? The key for the Shadow Liner is right here. You didn't think I would really let you take our train, but Bye-bye. And this time, I mean it. Don't you dare forget about me. Wait, wh Well, if... She's got the train key. Just follow her and take it back. Really? The subway key. She just dropped it right there. Oh. <laughs> All right. Whatever. Oh, oh, I remember this. You got to go on the right side of the train. And we need to move the train this direction. Key is missing. It can't be operated. Fortunately, Lady Venus is kind of an idiot. Subway key used. Insert the subway key and turn it. Come on, I want to fight with my new Mewtwo. Oh, nice. It's a hover train? Yeah, it's riding on magnets. Oh, it's a mag- oh, well, magnet train. Duh. I was looking at it like, wow, what is this technology? Really, like, I have not even in person ever seen one of those things. I've heard about them. Obviously, but I've never actually seen one, so it did not occur to me immediately. Oh, nice items back there. So, what's with the happy... Happy music. Yo, how's it going? Just getting off shift. Huh? Wasn't Lady Venus supposed to be coming to me? Mm, I've seen your faces somewhere. That's it, the blacklist. Your hamster and bomb. How'd you get down here? Uh, this won't do. You can't let these two get into the Shadow Pokemon lab? Oh, nice. That's where we are. Oh, fun. Oh! Well, that really made me jump. Okay. Why'd the door blow up? Does anyone want to tell me why the door blew up? The U-Disc. Oh, for moving the thing up. I thought it went, um, some, you know, wide vertice direction of some sort. Ooh, sparkles! Hey, take that and weep. You'll never be able to chase us now. Don't you think that was overdoing things a little? Uh, it's too late now. Come on, let's skedaddle. I think the U-Disc is for this. But what's this? The Magna Gate. Main Gate Key. Okay, well... Even though I really could very easily, one, jump this, but two, walk right across that... That part over there, you saw that? Now, do I use the main... Oh, is the main gate what takes you this direction, or is that still the subway key? I'm gonna attempt the main gate key. I don't know what that is. Opening the lab's main... Oh. Oh, that's where we are. Subway key. Before we leave the under, though, I'm gonna try taking this thing up first, okay? Or by this, I mean the thing in the center. Yeah, no, and I mean the UFO thing. But anyway, it's gonna take me a minute to get back there. We might run into some new cutscenes, I have no idea, because this thing is, uh... That was interesting. So I guess that actually takes you straight to the Shadow Pokemon Lab, out in the outskirt area in the center that we had found before. That's weird that it's there. Can I take the elevator up now? Now that it's actually expecting me to... No. Oh, good. Yes, I can. Okay. I can't move, so I'm assuming it's working. There we go. Now I don't have to run through all of this again. 
Boom, no keys, no nothing. Just going up. And uh, might I add, I would like to, does she have to walk out and like present me first? You see this? Like she walks out first, like on a runway, comes to the side, and then I come out with my, uh, my blue cape, walking real slow. Let's go this way. Does it depend? Does it matter where I left the um the thing? I think it might matter where I left the um the UFO. It wouldn't just teleport to where I needed to be. Oh, good. Game programmers, they're they're ahead of me. Now we're gonna change this to the U disc. Even though I thought that the only one I needed would be the L disc to move this thing over that. Get out of my way. NPCs getting your way a lot in this game. Disc, please. Let's try the U disc. Now it might just be for some extra goodies, because for upward travel, because this might just be an extra thing, because that was kind of hidden back there. You know, um, how do we actually ran the other direction? We'd have never seen that. What? We're out here. Weird. Oh, it is just an item. The time flute. Ah, okay. Very cool. Wait. Wait one second. We have three time flutes. Time flute Mewtwo. What am I thinking? He's, if he's, he's obviously he's legendary. He's gonna take longer than anything else to do this. Capture A3. I know he's Capture A3. I don't know what was wrong with that meta type from before. But if that's the case, what were we thinking? Just time flute Mewtwo. Get it over with. Have him now. Boom. Yeah. I was being stupid. But we do need to get out of here for real. Will she just let me pass? Because every time I seem to pass her, coming from the other direction, she attacks me. Really? Okay. Well, we're finally gonna get to see our Mewtwo in shadow form. Spiro and camera. Great. Alright, so what I'm probably gonna do... Nah, we wanna see this guy. We wanna see this in action. Oh, they're both good. And by Brava, do not neglect him. Oh, we gotta nickname this Pokemon today for doing that. Shadow Rush, um, Camerot. And by Brava, Shadow Rush, Spiro. Come on, Mewtwo. Oh, yes, it's mine. Oh, that's so powerful. It's so powerful. The recoil is always the same damage, but the Shadow Rush can always do a set amount of damage. That's more than I was expecting. As we know from the past randomizer, Vibrava is horrible. Flygon is pretty good. <laughs> now we're gonna have to take two attacks because we could not one-shot the- Ah, yep, Vibrava's not the best. But he's actually dropping really fast, as you can see. That's horrible, he's already frozen. And Future Sight, it's okay, camera. It's I think we'll be done before then. His eyes went bloodshot. Kinda wrong. My Brava. <laughs> How's it going, my Brava? My Brava failed to hear. I wonder why that was. He was caked in ice. Mewtwo's eyes like glow blue. Are you seeing that? Ugh. But anyway, um, since I was mentioning it in the end of the last episode, speaking of shinies, I gotta say, there's some really interesting, weird shiny differences in this game that are, like flat out wrong compared to the other games. And I mean like wrong as in someone sends out a Smeargle in this game, it's red. And then a shiny one I'm pretty sure is darker and has the green paint. Like they actually mixed up which one's shiny, which one's normal. And then there's a bunch of other shinies that are just really bizarre in this game. Really bizarre. And I mean like since um, I want to say fourth gen, They've been pretty consistent with what shinies look like the whole way through. Pokemon aren't really changing too much shiny-wise when you transfer them or up, up and around. But in this game and in uh, Johto, they looked really strange. Like, I want that, but that kid back there is going to fight me too if I go for it. So I'm going to run all the way to the other area. But anyway, yeah, what was their other shiny stuff? Like, Growlithe. In this game, he just looks yellow. Like, yellow. Like a shiny Growlithe. And I look at it like, well now... Am I gonna get in trouble for letting those criminals out earlier? Is that not a thing? If they don't care, then all right. 
I'll just keep on moving my way. All right, all right. Uh, we're going to a gate village. And, um, oh, we're going to see Celebi. That's pretty cool. But aside from that, um, first off, we got to remember where that name raider guy went. He was around here somewhere. I don't exactly remember. Also, uh, I think he was up in, oh, he's in the house where, um, our Ammonite is being held captive. Yeah, he's still in here. I'm just going to let him go. Hi, I'm Name Raider, fortune teller of names. Would you please read your Pokemon's nickname? Yes. Oh, Charizard's not on me. Shoot, I didn't think of that. But Gardevoir, at the very least, I can name. Finally, after all this time, it's a fine name you bestowed. Why its luckiness is supreme. But are you thinking of a slightly better name? Yes, a slightly better name. Okay, and now I can finally nickname our Gardevoir. But what would you be? Justice. I'm naming Gardevoir Justice. After all of the work that that poor little Ralts and Curlia and Gardevoir even had to go through to get some good moves and finally, finally attack. Done from now on, this is going to be known as Justice. Better name than before. Absolutely it is. Cherish your Justice now and beyond. Absolutely, but still I need to switch some Pokemon around because we need to name our Charizard. And let's see here. Um... If anyone's gonna switch around, why not the uh, Altaria, I guess? No, Altaria is one of our highest level. I'm gonna switch um, Justice, actually, I I ironically. And, um, yeah. And we're gonna move on from here like this. So, hey, old man, it's finally time. Yes. Which one? I'll tell you which one. It's this one. Charizard, is it? That's a fine name you bestowed. Why, its luckiness is supreme. Or, uh... That's nice and all, but what is Charizard's name? Yeah, is Toasty okay? Yes, Toasty. Finally, my Toasty is back. An extremely old video that would be so, so cryptically obscure for me to reference. The majority of you guys won't even know what it is. I'll leave it to the few who do know to enlighten the others in the bottom of the comments. This is now known as Toasty, with an exclamation point, by the way. Toasty and beyond. Of course, power of toasty. Um, so, how do I get to this place again? You, uh, oh, lost you. Yes, oh, she glitched out. Gone. I like losing her. I don't know why, I'm just so entertained by getting her snagged on things in the uh, environment. I don't know, her AI for following you. Well, I mean, she is right on you, so they had no reason to um, come up with anything better. So, Mystical Relic seems to be giving up a strange and fantastic power. Nothing seems to be happening until I use a mystical thing, Mobobber, wherever that ah, Team Flute! Apparently there are several in the game, so I'm gonna use this. Aha, Mewtwo. So can I have used this anywhere? Did I not have to come here? No, I had to come here. Yes, okay. Probably would have said you can't use that here or something. Come on, let's just one shot this. Yes! By the power of Celebi. Purify this monstrosity. Boom. Poof. And with that, Shadow Mewtwo is no more. And now Mewtwo opened the door to its heart. Regain the move Fire Blast. No experience points. So Fire Blast was um the uh one uh Shadow Rush. Okay, that's good. We have an attack. Give Nick and Mewtwo, yes, but we also don't even know our other attacks yet, so, mmm. And I, I have to do it. I have to do it. Frank Spank is back! I can't believe that, but Frank Spank the Mewtwo has joined our team. Now we just need Hotaru back. Yeah, right? Like our MVPs. I need to look at this. I need to look at this now. Pokemon. Oh, Mewtwo. Summary. So Mewtwo has a bashful nature. And uh, Fire Blast, Fury Cutter, Jump Kick, Recover. Not amazing, but man, Fire Blast, Recover is all we really need. Hmm. Jump Kick is just okay. Ugh. I say, we gotta get rid of Fury Cutter for sure. Um, I think I've got some better, ooh, if we can get Psychic. If we can get, I'm gonna grind um, that tower some more in between episodes, and I'll try and get Psychic and Hand Psychics out because 
Frank Spank wants one, Mew wants one, I'm um, sorry, Hamburger wants one, um, I'm sure a Gardevoir would like one as well. Everyone wants a Psychic, why not? It's just Filbert's the only one who has it, and we don't need to do that. Oh, Vibrava, I'm sorry, I didn't. I just now noticed that you're practically dead. So, um, are there any TMs right now that I can switch out on Mewtwo? Because honestly, we gotta get rid of that. Um, we could use a Thunder. We could, I mean, that's, uh, Hyper Beam is also another alternative. But, um, nobody yet has, um, oh, could Hail Blizzard. But he's not Ice type, it's not really worth it. Thunder. I do not have an electric attacker. So just in case we run into like a Gyarados, I'm kind of saying Thunder. For now. Why not? Not gonna hurt. Frank Spank wants to learn Thunder. So I'm gonna go buy another Thunder on our way back in there as well. But we need to get rid of Fury Cutter. I say Jump Kick is worth keeping for now. A uh, Fire, Electric, and Fighting type. Interesting. Forgot Fury Cutter and learned Thunder. Nice. Nice. See, I'd have been, um, getting the moves back with Mewtwo as we were slowly recovering it. Like, oh, I don't know if it's worth it. He's taking so much time. This is so hard. I should have time fluted him from the beginning. Nope. Time fluted him. Now, just fix it. Just make him go away. Fix all of his problems. But anyway, I gotta heal up. We got a long run back to where we're going. I'm gonna see you guys when we get there. All right, now that we're back, so I'm pretty sure where we're supposed to be heading is the Shadow Pokemon Lab of Cypher. Because this is where our uh, train was trying to take us, but they blew up the entrance. Nice one, guys. Nice one. There is a key slot. Fortunately, I just happen to have this. Use the main gate key. Now, um, I saw lots of goodies out here before we actually go inside, so... For sure. Well, by lots, I mean at least one. A full heal, there's two, okay, well, I guess they knew for sure that the player was gonna run over there and nab that immediately, because it's been bothering us for so long. Oh yeah, there was another one, I thought so. That's actually out there! Oh, I'm so dumb. I could have gotten that before! I didn't notice. I didn't notice, I'm just dumbs. Fine, I'm going all the way around, it's worth it! Oh, I wish I could have locked her inside, she's like running into the electric beams. There's, they're beams. Those are laser beams. That's gotta be so expensive. Why not just build, build a fence? Found revive, there's three. Also, a laser beam fence? Power could knock that out and you go right through it. I mean, like, if you're gonna spend that much money on a fence, just build, like, a bigger fence. You know, like, a physical fence. Something that I can't just, you know, turn off. But shutter is locked. Okay, so I guess we're going this way. Yup. Maybe the, that's the other way out or something? I don't know. Oh, memorize this. Looks like I can't, okay. There's a key slot. Main gate key, oh it stayed, darn it. Um. Ah, shoot. I don't have that. I can go this way. Arcade machines! Here's the shutter switch, press it. Ooh! Ah, it opens the outside door. Nice, okay. Now, we're going in the other direction. This is weird. I guess we're slowly figuring out how to get in here. Good thing nobody works here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, I'm gonna save real quick. All right, we're out of there. Nice, so, we can finally start progressing in this place. Is there a hidden item back here? Oh, yeah! Got a PP up, there's three of them. That's quite good. Like, I'm, should we use this now? I mean, Mmm, but on which moves? What's the point of designing that? It was probably supposed to be a bathroom or something, and... I don't know, I don't know. I'm not gonna criticize the architect who worked on this. Yes, stay up there, stay up there. She'll never get me. She'll never get me. She'll never get me. Uh oh Yeah, now she's stuck over there. This is discrimination. Why do they single me out for these extra assignments? Still packing left for the move out of this lab, Grumble. Whoa, who are you? You're suspicious, therefore you must be intruders. Intruders? There's an intruder besides me? There was nobody here. Get your eyes checked, son. Sunflora and Duskull. Lucky you, dude. I have a Mewtwo on my team. Purified and ready to go. Frank Spank and Vibrava. Okay, how come Frank Spank has no XP? Like, he did fight in that other battle. 
He did kill a couple Pokemon. Why did he get no XP? Oh, because I time fluted him. Maybe that's why. That's weird. You get no XP if you use the time flute? Whatever. I'm. That's just what happened. Frank Spank, Fire Blast that Sun Floor now. Vibrava, Shadow Rush, the Dust Skull. And I miss. I miss. Boom. At least they don't make you watch the animation for the attack and then it misses. That'd be kind of bad. I'm pretty sure uh, Stadium did that. I don't remember. I, I never got to play Pokemon Stadium too much. I did not have an N64. I got to play it later. But, uh, you know, it's one of those things I never got a chance way back when, so I never played it too much. But I'm pretty sure you had to watch the attack, and then it would say miss after you saw it. Fire Blast, Sunflower, and Vibrava, Shadow Rush, Duskull. That should do it. Nice. Boom! Oh, that's that dreaded animation of Mewtwo using Psycho Boost. Can I have Psycho Boost? Move Reminder. We can find a Move Reminder. That's so random in this game, though. If we can find a Move Reminder, Mewtwo can get Psycho Boost. We have to, because he had that when we fought him in the beginning of the game. And Duskull's down. Nice. Good team up, guys. Random new members out of nowhere. Pretty cool. Why did I des what did I do to deserve this? Though I could have time fluted our um Vibrava 2. I wanna save those in case something like Mewtwo comes along, something really awesome. Make you regret seeing me. Really? How's that? By giving me goodies? A card key. Obtain the card key. Oh, that's the card key. We need to get into the lab. Okay, is this all there is to this area? Because I want to keep exploring down. Oh yes, this is this is this. Oh, this is the same thing. Got you. Found the elixir, there's three. And that's all. Well good thing we went the wrong way first. So now if we head up the stairs, we can go back outside and it was that really that far? Eh, it kinda was. Just a lot of running, but it's okay. There was one guy hidden in there. So far only one guy works here. Okay. We don't need a whole heal yet, so. Oh, duh. Card keys needed to open the door. Oh. This is a card key slot. Okay. I was like, wait a minute, I can't open the door. I'm too dumb! I'm too dumb! Like, sliding the card, like, through the door. It's not opening! There we go. I'm remembering that door. I got a feeling this place is pretty large. Because that seems familiar to me. Great. Oh, directions. I'm taking right first. That looks strange, and I can't go in it. Weird. Okay, never mind. I'm taking left first. Okay, so they open from the back. Item on the floor. The DNA sample. Excuse me. Whoa! All right. Intruder alert. There's like drawings of Pikachu's and stuff on the lockers. I was looking at too. Peon Cole would like to battle. A Pupitar and Gyarados. I have Thunder. Yes, I was just saying, in case we ran into a Gyarados. I haven't run into a Gyarados like this whole time. And finally, well, other than ours, this is the first threat Gyarados we're fighting. Ooh, Vibra, are you about to get an attack? Which one? Shadow Pupitar! Shadow Pupitar! That is dang! That is so good! Frank Spank, you're still on Gyarados duty. That thing's a threat. Take it down. By Brava, I want you Shadow Rushing Pupitar. Take him slowly. Thunder. Missed. Darn it. Mud Sport does not do damage, but Electricity's power was weakened. And by Brava's not listening to me. Shadow Rush coming from Pupitar. Impressive. I want it. I want it. I want it so badly. My Brava's in hyper mode. Frank Spank Thunder. The Gyarados. My Brava. Listen to me. My Brava. At least I'm gonna drop him a little bit more. Yeah, he's very much angry. Thunder. Come on. And boom. Nice. Electricity's power is weak in my butt. Take that, Gyarados. And that was that. He's got an Incada after this. Good. Not really a threat. We can take it. Shadow Rushes are still coming from Pupitar. He's going for Vibrava's done. Vibrava, however, from being called out of Hyper Mode, does have a new attack. 
so we gotta throw somebody else out here. Ah! Uh, I don't want to touch the Pupitar. Clamp would kill Pupitar for sure. Macargo. Macargo. I'm gonna use Mewtwo to clear out the other side. Just keep attacking the other side. Frank's bank. Um. How about a Fire Blast, Nakata, Macargo? Don't triple kick, just Shadow Rush, Pupitar. Fire Blast, made it, yes. Boom! Super effective, and Nakata's down. Nice, okay. I only have, like, really strong attacks. Mewtwo is just for one-shotting people, that's it. And Lick of Tongue. I have a fighting move, too! Convenient. Bolt Tackle? Cargo lives! My cargo, do not go into hyper mode. This is so important right now. Also, don't kill it. Don't don't show me how strong you are right now. I'm kicking you off the team. Keep it. Cargo is so bad. He's so bad. Oh, I can't wait to finish him up and just be done with it. We're gonna jump kick Lickitung and Macargo. <laughs> just do it. Macargo, you stink. Pupitar, I'm trying to catch you now. Come on. I hope we can get him. Her, actually. A Shadow Tyranitar. One, two. A Tyranitar would be so good. I'm pretty sure this is a 45 catch rate if catch rates matter. Made it, yes. Nice. That did so little damage, actually. I just realized how bad that did. Wow, Macargo is still in it. Hit with recoil. Hydro cannon. Aiming at Macargo, I guess. Yep. Poor guy. He's just there to take hits, and he can't even take many of them. Huh. Well, um. He's got a good fighting. Uh, Billbird has Rock Smash. Sending in, um. How about Cha Cha instead? All right, Cha-Cha. So, what you're gonna do, intimidating helps them too. All right, that's good. Thanks, Frank. Um, man, you can't even recover. Like, it doesn't even matter. I want you to jump kick Lickitung again, but Cha-Cha. I fight Ice Beam Lickitung. Oh, you can start weak to that. What if Mewtwo crits and kills it? Try and catch him. Just try and catch him again. Pokeball. And for some reason, a Pokeball, as we have seen in the past, can be so much better than constant Ultra Balls. I don't know why, but it can. Game's weird. Game's weird. One. Darn it. Nope. Doesn't even care. That's fine. Jump kick. Oh, it's such a. Is he actually kicking? Like, with a kick animation, too? It's. Pretty cool. Volt tackle. Oh, did I send out my Garrett? I did. I forgot. Oh, that's doing too much damage to him. Like a tongue must recharge. Frank Spank. Jump kick. Like a tongue. Finish him off. Cha cha. You've got to catch this guy now. Um, we're throwing the better stuff now. I'm gonna great ball him. Come on. I'm starting to get worried because he's got. Oh, he's got a good reason to keep using volt tackles, and that will kill him. We don't have a lot of chances here. One, two, three. Yes! Shadow Pupitar is ours. Here comes Frank Spank's jump kick. And he missed. And he's gonna keep going and crash. That move does not do enough damage. You know what I mean? For uh, justifying it missing and doing that much to you. Mewtwo's like, what did you just do to me? Did you touch me? I'm gonna recover with Mewtwo and then actually use... um return with Cha-Cha instead. Because I'd rather Frank Spank be at full miraculous swapping HP. Because he just can do that. That is so mean. Recover Mewtwo. Boom. It's about time we finally have good Pokemon here. If we get a Ponyta on here, I'll be like, I want to go back to that station in the beginning and destroy that guy with a Mewtwo and a Ponyta. Like, I want to. A pure power Ponyta? That's what I need. Even though... For some reason, um, the, uh, the natures, oh, not natures, the, um, natures are always random. The, uh, 
what is it called? Abilities are not randomized in this game. He just disappeared. Interesting. Okay, well, he was clearly guarding one way. Yeah, there's the Pikachu pictures I was telling you about. Nice. The, the extra stuff in the background is just nice. Hopefully, we're gonna find a place to save. This has been a big episode already. And, um, we need to heal. Oh, great. We need to heal up. So, um, since there's clearly more guys down here, we got a lot more to do. It's already been a big episode. I'm gonna split it here. We gotta go back. Heal, save, take a look at our Pupitar. Honestly, I want to switch that stupid Macargo out. It's not worth our time. Like, we're not going to use him once he's purified. I'm going to box him. So for that, I say since we're finally getting good shadows, I'm going to switch him into our party instead of Macargo. And um, let's give him a shot. Let's see how good the Zap Cannon Pupitar really is on our own team next time. So thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next episode of Pokemon... Oh. Wrong way. Coliseum Randomizer. Boop.